Hey there, 2Bs. Welcome back to 2230. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. We love creating content for you and appreciate your support. Let's get started. The situation described in the article highlights the responsibilities of various stakeholders involved, including the streamer, the government, social media platforms, fans or supporters, and the public. The live streamer in question had a responsibility to prioritize their own well-being and safety. Engaging in dangerous stunts and excessive alcohol consumption for the sake of attracting viewers and earning money is a risky behavior. Streamers should be mindful of the potential harm these actions can cause to their physical and mental health. They should make informed choices and refrain from participating in activities that put their well-being at risk. The government has a responsibility to establish regulations and enforce them to ensure the safety and well-being of individuals involved in live streaming. This can include implementing guidelines and policies that address dangerous practices and risky behaviors. By setting clear boundaries and enforcing them, the government can help protect both streamers and viewers from potential harm. Social media platforms also bear responsibility in creating a safe environment for live streaming. They should have stricter guidelines and policies in place to monitor content and activities during live streams. Platforms should actively monitor and moderate live streams to ensure compliance with safety standards. Providing resources and education to users about the risks associated with dangerous stunts and excessive alcohol consumption is also important. Fans or supporters of live streamers have a responsibility to be aware of the potential consequences of encouraging dangerous behavior. They should refrain from encouraging or incentivizing streamers to engage in risky activities that can harm their health and well-being. Instead, fans can support streamers in positive ways, such as by promoting creativity, talent, and responsible content creation. The public plays a crucial role in shaping the demand for certain types of content. It is important for the public to be conscious consumers and discourage or report content that promotes dangerous stunts or excessive alcohol consumption. By expressing disapproval and demanding responsible and safe content, the public can contribute to creating a healthier and safer live streaming culture. In the specific case of the live streamer mentioned in the article, Wang Mofeng, he consumed a copious amount of baijiu a high-alcohol Chinese liquor, during a live stream. Reports suggest that he drank at least four bottles of Baijiu and potentially more, in quick succession as a forfeit during drinking battles with other streamers. Wang's excessive alcohol consumption ultimately led to his passing less than 12 hours after the live stream. His death serves as a tragic reminder of the dangers associated with excessive alcohol consumption and engaging in risky behaviors for the sake of entertainment or financial gain. Overall, it is crucial for streamers, the government, social media platforms, fans or supporters, and the public to recognize their responsibilities in promoting a safe and responsible live streaming culture. By working together and holding each other accountable, we can strive for a healthier and more secure environment for content creators and viewers alike. Thanks for tuning in to this response video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest reactions and responses, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I love reading your comments and feedback. Once again, thank you for viewing and I hope to see you on the next video.